Good afternoon, Packers fans. Aaron Nagler here with your Packers Daily Chat. Coming to you live across the street from Lambeau Field. Day three of Packers training camp on Ray Nitschke Field has come and gone. The Packers taking it slow on a Friday. Uh, Matt LaFleur admitting straight up, I actually really appreciate this from Matt, that he didn't make this an open practice because he didn't think fans would appreciate getting out there and sitting in the sun and then watching guys basically go through a glorified jog through, which is what most of the proceedings were today. And I will say, I know there's been a lot of talk about oh, the number of open practices only being 12, but I know as a fan, as someone who has in the past, like years ago, but gotten jazzed up and ready for camp and you arrive at Ray Nitschke Field and you're ready to go, and it is a walkthrough day and you weren't aware that that was going to be happening and it's kind of disappointing and deflating. So it makes a lot of sense. And I also know Matt mentioned as he has... Um, the previous few summers, that if you work the guys three days in a row, that third day, at least under Lafleur, is almost always going to be a jog through lighter type day. Um, makes sense. They'll be back somewhat full speed tomorrow. And then the other bit of news from Matt and his presser was that the pads will come on on Monday, the shoulder pads, that is, and then full pads will be hit, hit in the field on Tuesday. We're almost there. We're almost to some actual hitting football. Goodness, missed it. I can't wait to hear the pads popping. In the meantime, I want to give a shout out to our good friends over there at Ticket King. That's right. Ticket King has been based in Wisconsin since 1992 and are staffed with experienced, friendly, and knowledgeable folks that can help you with anything Packers ticket related. They also partner with local Green Bay businesses for tailgates and bus transportation to the games. They are open on game day for last minute tickets, upgrades, and they even have a drive through window. And you can, yes, indeed, find tickets on the Cheesehead TV app if you go to the schedule you'll find a link to Ticket King for each individual game. So if you're looking for tickets, either home or away, make sure you check out Ticket King. And if you need something else to get you ready for the season ahead, the Green Bay Packers, make sure you check out the official 2022 yearbook of the Green Bay Packers at PackersYearbook.com. You can use promo code CHTV. That's promo code CHTV to get 10% off at PackersYearbook.com. Do it, people. Get ready. What a way to head into the weekend with your yearbook ordered, ready to go for another year of the green and gold. Hello to everybody in the comments. Good to see everybody. Lots of folks, lots of regulars mixing it up already. Robin is here from across the pond. Stu is here. Oz is awake. It's amazing. Jill, hello. Another beautiful day. Yes, it is indeed. Sir Joker, good afternoon. Thanks for checking out the stream on Twitch. Greatly appreciated. Uh, Ron, not looking good for Amari Rogers. Oh, we got the doom and gloom in here already. I know it's early, but what do you think is going on with him? He has to make things happen. No, Ron, because that's how you don't make things happen, by trying to make something happen. He, Randall Cobb, Cobb is ahead of him. I don't understand why this is so hard for people to understand. Randall Cobb is the lead slot guy. That's it. There's no conspiracy. Amari isn't not performing well. Th there's no other thing to it than Cobb is the lead slot guy. That's it. Welcome to Earth. That's all it is, people. That is all it is. Robin, thank you for the super chat. Greatly appreciated. My work, BT, we're on strike today. So, yes, I'm drunk. Robin, imbibing across the pond. Bully for you, brother. Bully for you. I hope things uh, clear up in that regard. But tie one on while we're talking Packers. That's what I'm talking about. Oz, how you doing, buddy? Thanks for the super chat. Pizza night. Here's for some pepperoni. I mean, Oz, I'm not with my girls. They're back in New York. I I appreciate it, bud. But I'm actually going out uh, with for dinner with my parents tonight. So hopefully they'll be treating me to some pepperoni. We'll see. Shadid, what's up? Good afternoon. Hope you're doing well. Dennis is here. Of course, Dennis is here. Steve, how is Cobb looking? Cobb's looking really good, actually. Uh, caught a number of uh, passes over the middle these last two days. Um, he had a really nice touchdown catch towards the end of red zone work yesterday. Looks spry as hell. Looks like he's ready to go. I was at Titletown District today with the wife and kids. Great atmosphere, but my 40 time was not good enough. Oh, Kevin, yeah, that 40-yard dash will get you, especially us older dudes. Um, I think I've done all the 40-yard dashing I'm ever going to do in my life. But, yes, Titletown is a lot of fun and highly recommended. If you're coming in and out of town, definitely check it out. What else we got, folks? Uh, it's Kroll's right now. I, I was, it's Kroll's night now. I was just at Kroll's for lunch, actually. True story. 
How did the O-line line up today? Actually, I got a note here. Hold on. I'll let you know precisely because I know people will ask. Uh, first team offensive line, Yash, Runyon, Myers, Hanson, Newman. That was your five. Um, Cole Van Lannen did mix in at one point. Zach Tom did not go with the ones today. He was back with the twos full time. Um, Dag, thank you for the super chat. I love watching Coach right now. He's popping off jokes left and right, telling us how he actually feels about things that the NFL is doing to a point. Carry the G. Dag, I, I assume, I am I think you're referencing, at least in part here, his answer about the Guardian helmets, and I could not agree more. Uh, the joke about, well, there's a whole list of things that Wallers wants me to say, which is undoubtedly the talking points that the NFL has produced for coaches. Um, but I thought Matt brought up some really good points, especially the point about giving guys false confidence or hoping they don't lean into the idea that, oh, I've got all this extra cushion now and all of a sudden their technique starts to suffer. I mean, one of the things the coaches have done over the last five, six years um, in light of all the kind of news and education about head trauma is technique teaching and making sure that you take the head out of the game. And now you give these guys these extra, you know, this extra padding on their head. You really hope that they don't get lazy with that technique. And then the other part that he mentioned that I thought was astute um, was the idea that, okay, so you go through X amount of time with these guardian helmets. And then the first time that they're running around and playing actual football is with those guardian helmets removed. So now they've had no kind of acclimation to being in off season mode training, what have you. And then you get on the field, but you've got the guardian helmet on. And now all of a sudden you take it off when things are live feels really odd but um but to your other point like yeah i don't think he crossed any lines i think he was pretty honest about things but i you know, he did say a number of times that he understood the intent and he thought the intent was good um just maybe some of the execution was you know a little clunky and i think maybe that's expected first time out so to speak any update on watkins just gonna be a bit that's all i mean you guys will know as soon as Probably everybody else knows. Uh, they're going to be cautious with them. They said it's going to be a bit longer. Sammy Watkins was out with uh, with the team today, although it was, again, a jog through. But Watkins was out there catching passes from Aaron Rodgers. So that's progress. But Watson's going to be a bit. That's all we know. Uh, <laughs> did you see Denver's coach say the Guardian helmet will stop quarterbacks' hands getting injured on throws? Ron, I did not, but... Um, that's Hackett, right? I mean, maybe he's being funny or maybe you think that's a silly comment, but he's not incorrect. How many times? I mean, Brett Favre suffered a broken thumb that he had to play through in 2003 because he hit it on a helmet. I mean, it's obviously not the reason that those guardian helmets are there, but hey, happy byproduct. Sean Perry, what's up? Thank you for the super chat. How is Wyatt and Ryan looking? I haven't seen a ton of Ryan. I did see a little bit of him today down with, because I spent an extensive time uh, watching the second team down on the other end. Uh, P. Dory and I were down there um, while everyone else was watching the ones. Um, so I, I've only seen a little bit of him. He looks fine, but it's really hard to get any kind of bead on young linemen when they're, you know, A, getting disparate work, and then B, when there's no pads, it's, you know, you're looking at footwork a little bit, and Simon's on, say, a stunt. Does he pick that up? And in that regard, he looks fine, but it's not really much to go on until we see some padded stuff. Um, kind of the same with Wyatt. I mean, uh, ask me again next week, say around Thursday, and I'll have a better better answer for you. Jeff, thank you for the super chat. Huge preseason for Jay Love. How is he looking so far? Sharp. Very sharp. Um, he always has. It's really weird, though. I was saying to Pete, he always has, like, one throw every practice where you're like, what the hell was that? Just, I don't know if it's a floater or something that wobbles a little bit, maybe he's a little off, but it's only once. Then the rest of it, he's really sharp and really in command. And um, he had two throws today on corner routes, one to uh, um, Toure, which was really well-placed ball, really good throw. But yeah, once a practice, there's always just like one little head scratcher. But other than that, he looks really in command of the offense running things smoothly, good velocity on his throws, really zipping it in there. So, yeah, it looks good. Um, but you're correct. It is a huge preseason for him. No question about it. Spencer, greatly appreciate the super chat, bud. Thank you so much. 
You already have Lambo coordinates. Need a background succulent to match the new garden vibe. <laughs> also, has anyone picked your bicycle for practice yet? Oh, man. Could you imagine the beat riders lined up <laughs> for bicycles? No one would pick us. Come on. No one gives a crap about us. We all know that. I want J-Love to shut these haters up. I mean, yeah, look, the, the haters are always going to be there regardless. You know, he just needs to play his game. Um, like I said, he looks solid. He looks he looks like he's in total command of the offense. So hopefully in the preseason, he, get, he, gets, he lets it rip a little bit and does start to kind of maybe change the narrative a little bit. But the haters are always going to be there. That That's just a fact. Mm -hmm. How are DeGuara and Rogers moving out there? Do they look fluid? They do look fluid, Thomas. DeGuara looks like extra spring in a step. Um, Amari is what I'm assuming you're talking about. He looks really good. He looks smooth, um, running great with the twos, but he's not getting a lot of action with the ones yet. That, that is that is the case. Who is my sleeper to make the team as of right now? Good question, Joe. All right. This is ridiculous because we're three days in. They've done one practice where they practically jogged it and they haven't had any pads on. But Danny Davis making a play a day. Getting more run with the number ones than Toure is at this moment. Just something to watch. Something to watch. Not saying. I'm just saying. Danny Davis doing that thing you got to do. Make a play every day. Make him take notice. So far, he's making the most of his opportunities. Not saying, I'm not saying. I'm just saying. Spencer, again, thanks, buddy. Ali's Mac, thoughts? Up and down. He had a nice, uh, really nice reception yesterday in red zone work. Um, but I also saw him kind of floating way downfield on a bootleg where there, you're, it's like flood zone concept, concept. And he went way too far downfield. And You know, those are the things that, that's the attention to detail that you're like, yeah, that's what you got to hit, right? That's Those are the things they're going to be looking at on tape. But, I mean, he's a physical specimen. There's no doubt about that. But, yeah, up and down, I would say. And it's not like I've watched him extensively. But, you know, the few times I've seen kind of some good, some bad. Victor, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Do I see the Packers going back to St. Norbert? Oh, man, I just had this talk with somebody. I doubt it. I, I As a traditionalist... I really, really want them to, but I think that ship sailed. I think the pandemic is the perfect excuse for them to, you know, just transition out of it. You know, they obviously haven't done it the last three years. And clearly, I think the guys probably appreciate that. And uh, I think it would be a hard sell to go back to it at this point. It's, I, it's I'm sad, man. I loved it. I love that tradition. And I know all the arguments against it. I get it. My buddy Drew Olson talks about how much he hates the tradition. And I get it. I understand all those arguments. But again, I'm a traditionalist. I'm a historian. I'm a romantic. I loved it when the Packers stayed at St. Norbert. Mostly because that meant I could hang out at the Abbey and see Packers. But, you know, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Did Watkins survive practice? Let's be nice. Let's be nice. You don't have to go there. I mean, you're not wrong, but you didn't have to say it. Yes, Sammy Watkins survived practice. And for those of you who don't know, that is a bit. That is somewhat virally famous. <laughs> Craig, thanks for the super chat. Any looks at special teams work or too soon? Yes, they did their first extensive special teams work today and i got to say hello to rich Basaccia while he rode a bike to practice both there and back the first time he almost hit me but um yeah the, they did a lot of coverage work today and a lot of uh punt coverage work and return work um one of the i guess not a surprise really but they did one of the noteworthy things was seeing aaron jones back on kick return i haven't seen that in a while um I know, and my my I put it out on Twitter, and people instantly hated it. Um, do you want to improve special teams or not? I don't hate that idea. Get your best players the ball, and make them make them make moves, make them something happen. It's what we talked about all summer long. Special teams are not an afterthought, people. It's not a we just want competence. We want to make plays. We want to affect the game. We want to go win the game on special teams. How do you do that? Getting your best players the football in their hands. Aaron Jones certainly qualifies. 
And I'm not even going to say like that's, you know, he's like even like the favorite or it's definitely going to happen. Is it? They're just taking a look. And I don't think that's crazy. Uh, Rico Gafford was also back there, who I think has had one kick return in his entire career in college. But uh, he's he can fly. So that's fun. And Amari Rogers was back there again. I think we did see Randall Cobb fielding punts. So some of the usual suspects, some some new names. Uh, but yeah, first kind of extensive special teams stuff that we got to see today. Um, don't want to miss any super chats. Okay, got that one. Got that one. What's up, Chris? Thanks for the super chat, buddy. Dobbs is impressing, but is he getting contact by corners on the line of scrimmage or running free off of it? Both. Uh, he's getting a lot of contact from Stokes. I said yesterday that battle, that matchup has been like one of the highlights of camp for me so far. I mean, it's super early, obviously, but um, yeah, no, guys are getting their hands on him. Certainly. Um, now he, again, has been lined up almost exclusively on the perimeter. So he's really seen a lot of Stokes, but um, yeah, no, he's, he's not just getting like, you know, soft coverage. Uh, Spencer, thanks for the super chat. More likely for nags, Raj's hair or a tattoo? Oh my God. Um, probably a tattoo. I don't even think I have the hair to grow anymore, but uh, neither one of those is probably going to happen anytime soon. Luke, thank you for the super chat. Greatly appreciate it, buddy. Happy Friday, Aaron. I'm kind of bummed we're moving player a lot. I always love seeing the guys walk in. Jair did a dance for my wife when we were there a few years back. Hashtag Pizza Friday Cheers. Thanks, Luke. Um, Yeah, I feel you. I mean, hopefully there's some component at some point where you can see the players where they drive in, I guess. But yeah, you won't be able to see them walk from their cars anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, Corey Banky's here. <laughs> where else? Where else can you get this kind of content, people? I believe that's right out of the the, the Corey Banky garden. <laughs> Joseph, thank you for the super chat. Aaron, go pack go, pay, praying for 69's full recovery. As are we all. I think everybody in the church of the Packers is praying for a speedy recovery from one David Bakhtiari. <laughs> oh, my God. This is my life. This is where I work. This is my job, people. This is my profession. I'm a professional. Don't try this at home. Um, what else we got? Eric, thanks for the super chat. Isn't it about time we get some updated uniforms? Oh, hell no. Who, who let Eric in? Hell no. I mean, I like the alternates. The greens are here for the next four years, so that's enough, man. Updated uniforms. You crazy. What are you eating? <laughs> that's a good-looking gardener. Yeah, no doubt, Sir Joker. That's what he does. Farmers watch cows eat all day as well. No doubt it. Ask Corey how the maters are going in the garden. I will. I most certainly will. All right. I'm going to have to get going. I can't thank you enough for hanging out, talking Packers. Oh, Cheeto got the last one here. Munchies for Banky, Cheeto. I have no comment, but that's possibly an astute observation. Hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for hanging out and talking Packers and cucumbers and whatever else. Monday through Friday right here on the Cheesehead TV social channels. I will be back tomorrow. They have practice, so I'll be chatting. Morning, afternoon, let's get it, people. Please do me a monster favor. Hit like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and then tell your friends and tell your family, Cheesehead TV, we are devoted to Green Bay Packers fans worldwide. Thanks a lot, everybody. Have a great day. Go Pack Go. Uh, 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 uh,